This is the River Hawk Report, a weekend recap. Hockey, basketball, men and women, indoor track, both men and women as well. All in action, the results, a mixed bag. For hockey, it was a terrific weekend, and they needed it. The UMass Lowell Hockey River Hawks were winners twice during the weekend, a couple of nail biters, two hard fought games, two well earned wins. The River Hawks defeated a stubborn Merrimack team Friday night 5 4, and Saturday, UMass Lowell defeated Boston College 3 1. Neither was easy, and that's the way it is in hockey. Hockey East, and that's the way it should be. It was a really great weekend for our guys. Good to have both goalies play well. That is Riverhawk head coach Blaze McDonald, and we start with Friday night. A dominant performance for the Riverhawks, at least through two periods. A 5-1 lead early in the third period, but then things got a bit antsy. You know, that's something we got to do better at closing out the third periods the last couple games. You know, we had done an unacceptable job of doing that, so that's something that we really got to come together, and we got to do a lot better job of closing out the games. That's Riverhawk defenseman Jeremy Daner, and he was terrific. A goal, three assists, a four-point night, a superb job in the defensive end of the ice as well. Daner would be named the Hockey East Player of the Week. And Daner wasn't the only one playing a starring role. Corey Flady had two goals and an assist. The Riverhawks also got goals from David Valorani and Paul Worthington. Hill State, left side, Valorani into the attack zone, Valorani. Behind the net, wrap around, he scores! Joe Panada, fellow swing. Wine fires, missed the net. Rebound, loose in front, backhanded home by Broadhog, and we are tied to the goal. For Edwards, tipped off him. Game to Daner. Daner, side of the net, Holmstrom. Shot saved, loose puck, score! I believe Corey Felitti will get the goal. Daner off the draw. To Edwards, now to Worthington, shot, score! Tick tack toe bang top of the net. Put the puck where mommy Felady on the right the side into the Merrimack zone. Felady with a drive. Scores! Corey Felady off the right wing. One man back. He picked the far corner. Now Worthington top of the slot to Felady. Right face off circle winds. Fires fans. Daner. Little backhander. Score! Jeremy Daner. Each year I just try to take it to another level. It's got nothing to do with being the end of my senior year here. I mean, first and foremost, I look defensively, but when my opportunities come to make the offensive play, you know, I'll step up and make it. We got a lot of great forwards that help out and make it a lot easier for us at the back end. If there's a better defenseman in the country, I'd like to see him. I mean, he has been absolutely positively immense the way he's playing. And he, he settles our team down with his poise. Through chaos, he's able to settle things down and really make great plays out of traffic jump in the play offensively when it's appropriate and he's able to finish he's just been a he's been a dominant dominant player for us like I haven't seen a defenseman in a long long time and Riverhawk goaltender Nevin Hamilton was solid between the pipes making 33 saves the Friday night win ended a brief two-game losing streak and set the stage for the arrival Saturday of Boston College we really uh, started a little slow tonight they're a very good team they can make you feel uncomfortable with their speed and quickness and they have really good tenacity on loose pucks not the second half of the first period we played well really good in the second period and then the third period we played great except for when we we're on the power play but it's not about the opponent it is about how well the Riverhawks play their game you know, in a game like this you want your you know your veteran players to make big plays and they certainly did that defensively and offensively Benny Holmstrom played really physical Campbell with a big goal Worthington with a huge goal Fellini played well so that's a good sign led by the veterans the Riverhawks put together a strong performance a three to one victory the team played with poise and determination Scott Campbell Paul Worthington and Corey Fellini scored goals the Worthington goal a spectacular rush was a thing of beauty it came late in the third period with the game tied at a goal apiece and at the other end of the ice netminder Carter Hutton made 25 saves. Campbell right boards. He put it back in the corner. No teammate there. Shea can't hurt. Puck to Campbell toward the net. Campbell holds fake. Fires. Scores! The Boston College Eagles turned it over and Scott Campbell burned him. Back to five on five. Puck center. Shot by Ben Smith. Score! Boston center College. ice butt. Now to Worthington. In on goal. Worthington scores! Paul Worthington puts the Riverhawks on top, 2-1. To Took the pass from Bud, beat the defense, walked in, and scored Paul Worthington.
It's two one. Real I knew Budsy had me there, and when he when he gave it up, I just saw the open lane in the net, and I just took it, and uh, I got hauled down. But fortunately, it went in five holes, so can't complain. I'm really happy for him. He's very committed. He works hard. He's getting what he deserves, and he's helping other guys elevate their game as well. And for us to have the type of year that we want to continue to have, you need guys to make big jumps in their play and their productivity, and he's leading the way. I just think, uh, you know, working in practice and stuff, working on, uh, you know, burying the puck every day, in and out. Um, I, I think just just the determination to know that, uh, you know, I want this to be the year that we win, and anything I can do to help my team is going to be, I'm going to do. So The win put the Riverhawks in fourth place in Hockey East. That's the final home ice playoff spot, and they're just two points out of second place. UMass Old will visit Northeastern and back May Boston on Friday night. For basketball, men and women, it was a tough weekend. Both faced the College of St. Rose, and neither was a winner. The women ended up on the short end of a 70-59 final. Jen Valente led Riverhawk, scoring with 13 points. Sarah Bennett and Bianca Simmons added 10. The women now are 11-6, 7-6 in the Northeast 10. The men also took it on the chin a 93-78 final. Kyle Kaola hit for 21. Romeo Diaz added 12. Ali Kanan tossed in 11. The Riverhawk are 12 and 6, 9 and 4 in the Northeast 10. Track and field took part in the MIT Coed Invitational. Some terrific performances. On the women's side of the ledger, Ashley Zielinski grabbed the title in both the 55 meter hurdles and the 200 meter dash. Heather McCarthy won the long jump. Katrina Lutkus won the 55 meter dash. Lyra Clark won the 800. And Jackie Barrett keeps on winning. She took the shot put. On the men's side, Angus McDonald was the top collegiate runner in the 1,000 meters and was part of the winning 4x800 meter relay team. Greg Wilson won the mile in a time of 4.24.36. William DeGuidjoy won the triple jump and finished second in the long jump. And Josh Adams won the 200 meters and finished second in the 55. And that's the Riverhawk Report.